about how to adjust the database, the Excel sheet. Okay, let me go. Yeah, here, before we start, I just have a few notes I need to just share it with you. First, there are, again, I'm saying that there are too many ways to do the same thing. So uh, this is not the only way to do this uh, or to adjust your database. There are too many ways, but this is the way that I found suitable to me and it works. So uh, later on, once you uh, get used to Power BI and the, if you found any better way, please share it with me and we can press them together and we can do, develop it together. So this is number one. Number two, the more organized your database, the better visuals. So uh, you have to adjust your uh, Primavera program as I explained in previous sessions. And also you have to adjust your database as I am going to explain today. And this will make your uh, job much easier in Power BI. Number three, if you missed any adjustments, so it could be done later. So don't worry if you missed anything today or previously. The database it's uh, it's where well, it could be adjusted so once you adjusted the database you can just save it and refresh your data in database in the power pi and all the adjustments will be implemented in your uh, power pi so don't worry about that uh, so this was very important notes that i would like to share it with you before we start so Let's go for the database adjustment. So what we are going to do today, today we are going to recheck the names of the types and tables and columns and headers. And let's start. Let me open the, uh, the Excel sheet, which we uh, make it before. Yeah, this one. Remember this one, this, this is a sheet where you prepared before. So step number one that we are going to rename all the the tabs the tables and column headers so these are the tabs that we renamed and we will start with renaming uh, the first table so to make a table uh, you have to go to insert and make table or you can just simply make the shortcut control plus t okay so here i'm saying that my my table has headers so let me rename it. Okay, summary underscore table. Okay, because it doesn't allow for spaces or any special characters. Here, these are uh, this is the baseline tasks. Again, I'm just setting Control T. I'm renaming this to uh, uh, this is the baseline tasks. So I'm calling this the baseline task table. tasks table okay and this is done okay after that we have the update so yeah this is august 14 tasks so i'm calling this august 14 uh, task table august 14 tasks underscore table yes here i'm going to call uh, this one uh, baseline resources table because we have baseline tasks table. So here we are going to call baseline resources table. Okay, and this is done. Uh, after that, we have August 14 resources table. Okay. Uh, now we have the code tables, so let me remove the colors, so I don't need this color uh, column. Okay, and here in the color, uh, we have to rename the headers because here, for example, we have the same, the same header name, so this is code value. I don't know this is for which code, so here I, I'm going to call it CSI, CSI code value, CSI description. and make a table and i will call it csi codes table okay and here this is discipline i'm calling this discipline uh, code value and here this is discipline description and make a table a 
call it the Sublane Codes table. Here and call it floor good value floor description. Here, this one I will call it uh, floor good table, and let me remove the, the color. This one, this is the hotel area, I will call it each area good value and this one each area could description okay and this one I'll call it each area good table okay so we done with the uh, all the tables are uh, still we have the s curve let me do the s curve yeah for the s curve also let me take out this i don't need it oh yeah let me remove this yeah delete it or you know what i have also to take the actual monthly and actual cumulative so let me take the uh, the data i prepared just let me take it from the other sheet and go here and paste it okay so i got here the, the monthly earned and the cumulative earned and make the table and i will call it s curve table okay and this one let me make a percentage okay so we done with renaming all the tabs, all the tables, and all the headers, the column headers. So this step number one done. Now we need to adjust some dates because I found some dates, some dates that have symbols like uh, dollar sign or we have uh, the star of the constraints. So let me go to the August 14 tasks and if I, if I show you the, the start dates, you can see here there is a letter close to the actual date. So I don't need this because Primavera and Power PR doesn't detect this as a date. So I'm going to literally split this dates from the A. So to do this, I have to insert a new column after the start, a new column after the finish. Okay. And yeah, click choose this column and go to data and text to columns and choose delimited okay hit next and put space because there is a space between the letter and a hit next and go finish okay so you can see here all the dates split it from the a and we can remove this column do it again for the finish Hit next, the space, choose a space, next, finish, here. Let me choose, okay, and remove this column, no need for it. So let me check this. As you can see here, uh, I still have a star here because I have a milestone here, and here all the dates are okay. So in the finish, I go again, delimited, and instead of hit space, go to other, and put the star. Yeah, hit next finish so this will be removed so when you hit now it's okay it's very easy yeah so, so this is done again we are going to do it in the august 14 resources insert a column after start insert a column after finish choose a start go to text to columns delimited yeah spaces is chosen okay it's okay done for the finish yeah go to text to column delimited next space next finish okay done so now all my dates are okay no a letter here no a letter i can remove these columns 
and remove the other one so I'm good to go now to remove the dollar sign just go to the task table and choose the column of the earned value cost and budget total cost and change the type so uh, to number from uh, cost so simply it will be removed yeah choose the column choose the number and okay done so this is uh, that's all for the currency uh, let me see so yeah one more thing to go so we remove this currency sign one more thing to go this is totally optional it's not must it doesn't affect anything however i like to do it because it's more organized i just make a color code for each category so these are these are general columns it's not related to anything the summary and s curve i just put it as a green uh, category for the tasks i put it as yeah blue category so for the resources i put it as a, a yeah choose yellow for example yeah and for the codes i choose uh, orange okay so just to show you what i did this is a uh, general tables this is task tables this is resource tables and these are the goods table. So that's it for today and see you next session.